So over the past year or so, there's been one thing that's been introduced that has had a lot of people very interested and had their eyes glued to the internet. I'm talking about AI. And AI has been something that has had some good applications and some questionable ones. But there's something that I haven't understood yet when it comes to AI, and it is the companies that use it that just don't want to admit it, or the companies that use it when they don't need to use it. And while I know the situation might not really be an interesting topic to many people, I still find it very intriguing. It's actually baffling to see how this entire situation has been handled, and the fact that companies like this just want to act like that, oh, well, who cares? If we remove a post that gets called out, what's the worst that can happen? And I'll tell you what's the worst that can happen. Everyone never forgets. There's literally screenshots. People are going to make posts. People are going to call you out. And so today I am talking about Walcom and I'm talking about Magic the Gathering because those are two different situations for two different reasons, but they both involve AI art. And the way this whole situation has unfolded is wild. So this is a tweet that was made by Walcom on January 2nd. It said, Walcom sell alert. Start 2024 with a new Walcom Intuos M is one of their tablets. It says now on sale through January 21st. It's the perfect tablet to get started in digital art. It can also be used to easily write, edit, or convey ideas is an education or remote work sentence shop now and then you see that the post has been deleted now you might be scratch your head oh why is it deleted it's because this is ai art this is this is like legitimate straight ai art there is no way around it this is one of those situations where i can't help but scratch my head and be like why you are a company that sells tablets to your primary audience being artists and you're using ai art and your post is about selling your tablets so that you can draw art Make it make sense. Who, who, what logic is that? Who at fucking Walcom thought that that was a big brain move, that that was worth doing? Because it wasn't. Now, I'm no artist myself. I don't know anything about art. And, and, you know, so maybe my pain isn't really anything. So let me show you a clip from someone who is an artist that can pinpoint all this shit to you and give you a better explanation than I can. So imagine my surprise when I see that Wacom has posted two new images. They are of dragons for the new year. This is the first one. And uh, <laughs> here's the second one. So the first thing that catches my eye about this image is this tail that sort of blends into the belly and also the foot question mark of this dragon. There are a lot of areas where there are these white like splotches in between the toes and on the tail. There's something about the way the neck sort of connects to this back area and like this fur piece, like something about that's really odd to me. The way these scales sort of turn into a different pattern as it goes down the neck is odd. There are two holes in this dragon's mane. <laughs> For this image, it sort of looks like the teeth sometimes turns into hair. Like it kind of looks like this dragon just has a lot of hair coming out of his mouth. And then obviously the dragon kind of, you know, fucking disappears at the end here. So yeah, Wacom, my apologies to said Wacom for this majority of this video, but Wacom uh, for some reason thought it was a big brain move to just use AI and I don't know, promote art, drawing art on their tablets with AI. Yeah, I'm gonna just draw AI art. You know, I, I clearly, I guess that's the purpose of their tab. Maybe that's what they're trying to tell me. Why, instead of drawing art, why don't you just draw AI art? But the thing is, you don't draw AI art. You just fucking generate it. There's no drawing down your tablets unless you want to be, I guess, what are they called? Hybrid artists where they're like an AI artist, but they're, they like to proclaim that they're like a traditional artist as well too, where they generate something with AI and then they tweak things. When in reality, you're just generating something and then making a couple tweaks and acting like you made something out of pure your own two hands when in reality you didn't like i i, I don't get this it's fucking wild now look i'm not no old man you know throwing my fist at the air saying fucking door good god damn ai look if people want to use ai to make art more power to them i don't give a fuck but if you're gonna do it at least be honest be transparent and and not make this shit seem like that you were the one who really put in some hard work or give yourself some false illusion of Oh, well, I'm actually a traditional artist, but I'm actually an AI artist too. I'm like this hybrid blend and you know, I, I'm doing, I, I'm putting in still so much work as regular artists. No, the fuck you're not. Come on, dog. Let's be real here. No, you're not. <laughs> it's that's just a, that's a lie. AI art is never going to stop. It's actually only going to get better to the point where no one will even be able to tell the difference between real art and AI art. And that's just the unfortunate reality of this universe. But if you're going to use AI, at least have some self-respect and self-decency to at least own up and admit that you use it instead of being like, nah, man, I, I did this shit all on my own. 
When in reality, at the least this current time, people can still point out flaws. Artists always call that shit out all the time. I see it on Twitter time and time again. So you're not fooling nobody, at least not yet. And that statement applies for companies as well too. If you're gonna use AI art, at least be honest about it. But at the same time, if you're a company that's built around selling fucking drawing tablets, why don't you use that money that you make from artists buying your tablets and commission a real artist? How hard is that? And just like anything on the internet, nothing goes away. Look at right here. You can't outrun your sins. Guess replacing nibs is as easy as replacing artists with AI. Good job, Wacom. Been a customer since 2008. Not anymore. Wacom, you can hire me. I won't be expensive that you need to use AI. Trust me. You know who wouldn't have trouble replacing the nibs? The AI generators who don't really need your product. Like, clearly they offended a lot of people, and rightfully so. Like, like there's no logical sense on why you would do this. It just, like, I get it from like, maybe like Microsoft when they had their little Xbox um, promotional banner for winter and it was AI generate, but you're a fucking company that sells drawing tablets to artists. You are literally spitting in the face of your fucking consumers. That is fucking wild. But like I said at the beginning of this video, Wacom isn't the only company that made a oopsies recently. Uh, it was at the Wizards of the Coast. They had something that happened with Magic the Gathering where they had a new promotional artwork and they were like, oh yeah, this isn't no AI artwork after they got called out. They were like, it was done by humans. And so let me just show you. So things have moved at the speed of light since I started getting ready to even make this video. Cause this all yesterday, it's fucking different. This was a photo that was posted by Wizards of the Coast and it was for Magic the Gathering artwork. And this is the photo in question. And so they said, this photo is not AI. After they got called out, they're like, nope, no sir. They they put their fingers in their ear like la 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 la. This is, this is real art. This isn't AI. You need to shut up guys. You're clearly wrong. <laughs> well, actually, they were the ones that were wrong because they finally admitted it later today, but that's a spoiler alert. Now, for those that are wondering where are the issues with the image, you can see it right here as this user has pointed out. They were, <laughs> they did their quotation created by humans because that's what uh, those of the coast said. And so you can sit there and see right here, there's issues right here, there's issues right here. Uh, clearly, there's something that looks a little off. Same right here. Moving on. Right here, you got the little line that goes right here and then you got this line, it doesn't even connect properly. I, keep on going, you got this. It's kind of like, where the fuck is this even going? And then it ends off with this image right here. And so despite these tweets being out there for some time and people pointing out and calling out the issues, to even have the account double down and be like, man, y'all are stupid. What the fuck y'all talking about? It was just odd. It was like, why double down on this, bro? Why not just admit it? Why not just sit there and say yes? Instead of doubling down saying, nope, nope, it was made by humans. It wasn't made by AI. When clearly, if you looked at it for more than a couple seconds, you know that it was done by AI. There is no shot. Like, I'm not an artist myself, right? Like, I, I don't do art. But to sit there and, and look at that, even from like an outside perspective, I know that no sane artist is going to sit there and make an image like that and have that many fuck ups, especially when you're working with a company and an IP as big as Magic the fucking Gathering. Like I saw some comments, some uh, some tweets, and I know Twitter isn't exactly the best place to go to for logical sense, but some people are like, oh, well, normally, you know, shit like that does happen. You know, I was like, what? I was like, wait, wait, tarnation? There's no universe where this many fuck ups that are this odd and weird happens. I just know it doesn't happen. That's insane to sit there and think that a well-paying, well-respected artist would actually make something of a blunder that looks this fucking shit. That, that's fucking silly. What copium do people live on to try and justify and act like that this is a real image and that this was made by an actual person? That's odd. Anyways, as I said earlier in the video, Magic the Gathering made their own statement. And here's what they said. They said, well, we made a mistake earlier when we said that a marketing image we posted was not created using AI. Uh, we made a mistake. You made a big mistake. That is a, and here's the reason. Let me explain why. So normally if it, a mistake is just made when you first post the image, right? I'll say that's a mistake. But when you double down after people called you out and then you sit there and you tell them explicitly that this is a real image that was created by real humans and not AI, and you double down on your mistake, that's a big mistake. That's a big oopsies. That isn't just a mistake anymore. It continues by saying, as you, our diligent community pointed out, it looks like some AI components that are now popping up in industry standard tools like Photoshop crept into our marketing creative, even if a human did the work to create the overall image. While the art came from a vendor, it is on us to make sure that we are living up to our promise to support the amazing human ingenuity that makes magic great. We've already made it clear that we require artists, writers, and creators contributing to the magic TCG to refrain from using AI generative tools to create final 
final magic products. Now we're evaluating how we work with vendors on creating beyond our products, like these marketing images to make sure that we are living up to those values. So from what I'm getting, if I'm understanding it correctly, what they're saying is that there were uh, new AI tools in Photoshop. I do graphic design, so I, I know what they're talking about with that. But they're saying that those AI tools are what was used throughout the making of this artwork. And that's why all those blemishes, all those different oopsie whoopsies showed up throughout the marketing image. Now, whether or not that's true, I, I couldn't tell you. Maybe they're telling the truth. Maybe an actual artist did do it and they use AI and that's what they came up with. Personally, I'm leaning towards it's the same idea what I said earlier to video where it's a hybrid artist where you got someone who claims to be a, a traditional artist, but AI artist at the same time where they use AI to generate something and then they just tweak things manually uh, by hand. And so that's why they're like this hybrid artist. But in reality, as I say this time, I, like I said, I'm no artist, right? But from my own field of video editing, graphic design, and any other shit that I do like music, I can tell you anyone in any creative field who has self-respect, self-worth, that values the shit that they, they do, they would never let shit like that ever come out on the final piece. Anyone who respects the fucking work they make will never have ugly ass blemishes, fuck ups that giant, come out to a final promotional piece, especially for a company as big as this. Fucking Magic the Gathering isn't some just random ass uh, game. But uh, hey, I'm getting a little bit too heated over this. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this real quick because it just it's so wild to see a company do this. They double down and then they're like, oops, we are a mistake. And then they're like, oh, well, actually it was made by a human, but there was some AI tools that were used uh, uh, in programs now to make these images. And so it kind of slipped in and that's what really happened. But, you know, like it's good at going forward. They're going to try and be more transparent. That's always great. It's always welcome. It's always nice to hear that. But this is still a big fuck up. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe they will learn their lesson and going forward. This shit will never happen again. But only time will tell. Anyways, you made this far into the video. Consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me comment below what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.